The first 23 years of the 21st century have included a number of powerful, explosive volcanic eruptions. These include the 2022 eruption of the Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai volcano, which caused a Pacific wide tsunami and caused the volcano, which was once a single large island, to be obliterated into two smaller islands. The 2010 eruption of the hard to pronounce Eyjafjallajökull Yayokoto volcano in Iceland, which led to more than 100,000 flights being cancelled in Europe, marking the largest air traffic disruption since World War II and the 2021 eruption of the La Soufri volcano in the Caribbean, which destroyed two large lava domes, caused 20,000 people to evacuate, and left behind a brand new 800 meter wide and 200 meter deep crater in its place. Thus, comparing these three eruptions and other large explosive eruptions which have occurred this century, where does the April 11, 2023 eruption of Shivlach in Russia rank? Although these numbers are purely an estimate by myself of the 24 VEI-4 or larger explosive eruptions which have occurred so far in the 21st century, the April 11, 2023 eruption of Shivlach in Russia ranks in as 16th, with a full list being shown here. You might note that the total size of tephra emitted from the combination of the 2nd through 24th largest explosive eruptions this century is still slightly less than half the amount emitted during the explosive eruption of Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai on January 15, 2022, which may have totaled as much as 14.7 cubic kilometers of tephra. This eruption caused the volcano to explode in a multi-megaton blast, creating a sound that was confirmed to have been heard as far away as Fairbanks in Alaska and possibly central Yukon, a whopping 6,089 miles or 9,800 kilometers distant. Then, as heavy ash fell, the center of this volcano lost 750 meters or 2,460 feet in height as a several kilometer wide section of this volcano collapsed into a caldera. The second largest eruption to occur in this period was the 2011 eruption of Pieje Cordoncol in Chile, which ejected one cubic kilometer of tephra, being rated as a VEI-5. This eruption produced a large swath of a rare obsidian-rich lava flow, up to six mile long pyroclastic flows, and a plenian eruption column. The third largest eruption also occurred in Chile, when in 2008 a high-end VEI-4 eruption and placed a large rhyolite lava dome at the Chaitan volcano. In fourth place is the largest eruption to occur in Iceland this century, and no, it is not a Yafiatya Yokotol. Rather, in 2011, the Grimsvon volcano erupted, causing some flight cancellations and ejecting approximately 0.74 cubic kilometers of tephra in what was this volcano's largest explosive eruption in approximately 10,000 years. In fifth is the highly explosive 2019 eruption of Raikoke in Russia, which ejected 1.5 million tons of sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere, causing unusual sunsets in sections of the northern hemisphere for several weeks. Number six is the 2010 eruption of Eyjafjallajökull, Yayokotl, which, although it began with a fissure eruption, shifted to an explosive summit eruption which emitted large volumes of ash that caused large swaths of European air traffic to be grounded for a time. Number 7 is the 2009 eruption of Sirichev Peak, which was much like the 2019 eruption of Raikoki, albeit being 24% smaller. Eighth was the November 3rd, 2002 eruption of Reventador in Ecuador, which produced a tall eruption column and a 9km long pyroclastic flow. Ninth was the temporary island forming eruption of Fukutoko Okanoba in Japan, which produced more than 100 million tons of pumice, which ended up washing ashore on several Japanese coastlines. Tenth was the 2021 eruption of La Soufri in the Caribbean, which caused a large evacuation and left behind an 800 meter wide explosion crater. And now, a brief photo overview of the 11th through 24th place explosive eruptions during the 21st century. 2015 Calbuco in Chile, 2008 Okmok in Alaska, 2011 Nabro in Eritrea, 2008 Kasatochi in Alaska, 2010 Merapi in Indonesia, 2023 Shivlach in Russia, 2006 Rabal in Papua New Guinea, 2014 Kailud in Indonesia, 2004 Manam in Indonesia, 2020 Tal in the Philippines, 2013 Sinabon in Indonesia, 2021 Semro in Indonesia, 2000 Uluwan in Papua New Guinea, and 2015 Manam in Papua New Guinea. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank Wesley Grover for becoming a new patron on this channel's Patreon page.